In this demonstration, we're going to have a quick look at how Exchange Server 2010 modifies Active Directory to allow the program to actually run on our Microsoft Windows servers. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll just open up Active Directory Users and Computers. Once we're into Active Directory Users and Computers, what we should see is we have an organizational unit created called Microsoft Exchange Security Groups. Now these will allow us to have permissions over the Exchange organization. So one of the things we have here, we have a computer group, members are all of my Exchange servers, so we'll just click OK there. We can have a look at things like server management, so who's allowed to manage our servers. Currently nobody, but I am logged in as administrator, so I have full permissions anyway. We may have within our organization somebody who's responsible for looking after mailboxes, so recipient management. Yet again, there won't be anybody in there because we haven't yet modified anything. One of the things that happens when we install our first Exchange server is we modify the schema to actually support the Exchange organization. We can have a look at that by using the ADSI Edit program. So into Admin Tools, into ADSI Edit. Once we're in here, we just need to connect through to our Active Directory. Now that we're in here, if we just highlight and come through the tree, we can see a couple of Microsoft Exchange objects within here. So if we have a look at Microsoft Exchange Security Groups, we can see the groups that mirror the ones we saw in Active Directory Users and Computers. Then into the Microsoft Exchange System Objects, we can see the installed domain that we installed Exchange into. We can also see system mailboxes that have been created as well. Let's just change our context now and just connect to something else. So we'll just connect through to our configuration. Click OK here. Expand up configuration. Expand up the configuration container itself into services. And again, we have some Microsoft Exchange information. We can then scroll back up the top. And again, just connect to but this time. What we'll do is we'll just come through the schema. Click OK. Scroll down a little bit. We have our schema in place here. Expand on through here as well. And if we scroll down, we will actually see Microsoft Exchange objects within here. So we'll just scroll all the way down. And if I keep going, what we should see, we should see some Microsoft Exchange specific entries into our schema. So this is just a very quick demonstration of proving that Exchange Server 2010 does modify our Active Directory schema and that we can manage that Active Directory entry within the various Active Directory editing tools we have with the Windows Server operating system. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.